Hello friends. We are dealing with the topic decimals grade 6 chapter number 8 is decimals grade 7 chapter number 2 is fractions and decimals. Basic concepts of decimals are useful for higher education. So this is my part 1 for grade 7 chapter number 2 fractions and decimals. If you are new on my channel, please like and subscribe my channel also to hit the bell icon so that you will get notification for my next video. My grade 6 students, the basic concepts of decimals are covered in chapter uh, or grade 6 chapter number 7. So please go through with the video so that your concepts will be clear and in today's video I am just trying to recap all the topics that is important for grade 7 decimals and that already I have covered in grade 6. So let us start with the recapitulation that is fractions. What is fractions? So fraction is a small equal part of a whole that equal is very very important word. So here you can see that total number of parts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and out of 7, 3 parts are shaded. So the fraction for the shaded part is 3 by 7. Take one more example. Now the total number of parts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and out of 10, 5 parts are shaded. So the fraction for the shaded part is 5 by 10. So now, when the, when the the denominators are 10, 100, 1000, then such type of fractions are known as decimal fraction. This is also a fraction, but specifically we called it decimal fraction. What is the correlation between fraction and decimal? Convert a decimal when your denominator is 10, 100 and 1000. So here 82 upon 82 upon 10 this is a fraction how to convert into decimal in denominator 1 0 is there so leave one place from the right hand side and put decimal over here so your answer will be 8.2 take one more example 329 upon 1000 so your three zeros are there so 1 2 3 leave these three digits and put your decimal over here and no whole part means again 0, so 0 0.329. Now equivalent decimal, equivalent means equal, equal means same. What is same? The value is same. Then these are known as equivalent decimals. So to convert into equivalent decimals, we add number of zeros after the decimal on extreme right hand side. So take the example 24.2, so you can add one more zero, 24.20, the value is same. Instead of one, you can add two zeros after decimal on the extreme right hand side. Again, the meaning is same. Someone says, ma'am, I want to add three zeros. I said, okay, you can add three zeros. Again, the meaning is same. You can add four zeros. Again, the meaning is same. What does it mean? After the decimal on extreme right hand side, if you are adding number of zeros, then also the value doesn't change. So such type of decimals are known as equivalent decimals. Now like decimal, like means same. What is same? Your decimal places are same, then the decimals are known as like decimals. So decimals having same number of decimal places are called like decimals. So you can take the example 27.345 and 1.239. You can see that after decimal three digits are there. Again after decimal three digits are there. This is known as decimal places and decimal places are same. So these are the like decimals. Unlike means not same. What is not same? Decimal places are not same. So decimals having different number of decimal places are called unlike decimals. Take the example. Here you can see that after decimal two digits are there and here after decimal three digits are there. So decimal places are different in number. So these are called unlike decimals. Unlike decimals can be converted into like decimals. Complete chapter with subtopics are ready to watch. Knowing our numbers, 16 subtopics, whole numbers, 8 subtopics, playing with number, 11 subtopics, 
basic geometrical ideas, four subtopics, uh, understanding elementary shapes, five subtopics, fractions, 10 subtopics, including grade six and grade seven. Part one link is given in the description and link for the other subtopics are mentioned in part one. Conversion of unlike decimals into like decimals. We add number of zeros, required number of zeros after the decimal places to convert into like decimals. So here you can see that decimal places are 2 and this is 3. It means they are the unlike decimals and greater number of decimal places are 3 out of 2 and 3. Which one is greater? 3 is greater. So we will convert into 3 decimal places. So here we need to add 1 0. So 0.340 and 1.239 so here you can see that decimal places are 3 so this way we have converted unlike decimals into like decimals conversion of decimals into fractions so this is the decimal how to convert into fraction after decimal two digits are there so it means two zeros will come in denominator so for this decimal one we will write in denominator and we will add two zeros 75 will be in the same place in numerator for this decimal we will write down this one and after decimal two digits are there so we will add these two zeros and now fraction always we convert into simplest form so cut these two numbers by 25 and your final answer is 3 upon 4. Conversion of fraction into decimal when your denominator is 10, 100 and 1000. So 42 upon 100 only one zero is there. So leave this one digit put the decimal so answer is 4.2. Now your two zeros are there so leave these two digits put your decimal here so 0 0.75. Now here three zeros are there so one, two and one more place we require over here and in this place we will write down zero so 0 0.055 is the answer. From concept of subtraction whenever subtract and from is there we underline the word from we write down the next number first then this number is second and for subtraction we put minus sign. So arrange this in vertical form, make sure decimal should come below decimal. Now subtraction 9 minus 8 will give you 1, this 7 you cannot subtract from 5. So borrow from here, so this will remain 1 and this will become 15. So 15 minus 7 will be 8. Again you cannot subtract this 1, 5 from 1. So borrow from here, so here it is left 1 and this will become 11, 11 minus 1 will be 6. And 2 minus 2 will be 0. Fractions, grade 6, chapter number 7 is fraction. And grade 7, chapter number 2 is fraction. These are the subtopics for the videos. And these videos are ready to watch. Part 1 link is given in the description. And link for the other subtopics are mentioned in part 1. Addition and subtraction of decimals. So, 4 numbers four decimals are given so the first step we will convert into like decimal decimal places is one three one and zero so greater number of decimal places is three so we will convert into three decimal places by adding required number of zeros so i have added here two zeros two zeros and three zeros so this way i have converted this unlike decimals into like decimals now arrange the decimals in vertical form and make sure decimal should come below decimal leave one line for carry over or borrowing the number write down the answer over here now do simple addition and subtraction based upon the sign addition or subtraction you can add or subtract the numbers and your answer will be 63.023 Take the word problem. So word problem here I have taken three different color fonts so that easily you can write down the statement. So Shyama bought 5 kg 30 gram apples so and 3 gram 25 gram mangoes. So the first statement will be apples bought by Shyama, apples mangoes bought by Shyama and we need to find out 
the relation between this so here we know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram so three zeros are there what does it mean gram will come in three digits so 30 gram we have two options to write 300 or 030 definitely this one is the bigger number so this is wrong so 30 gram can be written as 030 so now this will be 5.030 kilogram and this one will be 3.025 kilogram and total quantity of fruits bought by Shama total means we will do addition. So just write in vertical form decimal below decimal add this you will get 8.055 kilogram. Now we will write down for this pink color that is Sarla. So oranges bought by Sarla. Bananas bought by Sarla, again we will convert into kilogram, so this is 8 gram, we require 3 digits, so we will write 008, so 4.008 kg, this is 2, we require 3, so we will write 015, so this will be 4.015 kilogram, total quantity of fruits bought by Sarla, so again write in vertical form, decimal below decimal addition is there add this you will get 8.023 kilogram and the next question who bought more fruits to find out who brought more fruits we will compare these two numbers how to compare so we will start with the whole part 8 and 8 is same go for the next 0 and 0 this is same go for the next 5 and 2 so which one is greater 5 is greater so 8.055 is greater what does it mean this quantity is for shama so who bought more fruits shama bought more fruits thank you for watching today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe the video and also to watch my next video